this is interesting. Pornhub did a survey trying to figure out with millennials what the most popular search terms were. Is it a survey? I don't know. A survey, a study. So they that, looked this at the is, analyticals. So here's here's specifically what I think happened. Okay. Is Pornhub is just kind of for their own internal information, you assume, mm -hmm. for all internal information. They uh, they they kind of track what people are searching so that they can provide feedback to people who upload and whatnot. And um, more of that content, I'm sure. Yes, so that's what they did. So it wasn't they weren't asking people. Okay. People were just searching, and these are the so results. So they found the search results. Are you guys ready? Okay, the most popular term searched by millennials. That's what we're talking about here, millennials. Uh, number one, lesbian. Number two, teen. Number three, stepmom. Number four, milf. Number five, squirt. What the fuck? And number six, because I wanted, I want to include number six and seven because it's mom and stepsister. <laughs> Thoughts, five words or less. Lesbian, teen mom, squirt milf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more like incestuals. That's crazy, mom, stepmom, sister. That surprised me. I like I would doubling back. Mom, a little bit. But You'd think mom and stepmom would split the vote. No, they're top six. God. Seven stepsister, so I get stepsister. I would think like anal. Anal's like way down the list, way down anal the list. Anal is way down, way almost down. to cream pie. Massage beat anal. Lesbian, which make it just safe. That's safe if you're a straight guy. You search lesbian, no penises. You won't even, you won't even confuse yourself. It's you, all girls doing girl stuff. Do you stuff. like to see lesbian porn or do you like to see the penetration? I like lesbians with toys. Yeah. Because then I'm, there's no the penises. Best of I both can imagine worlds. there's no other penises in the world besides mine. But you mine. still get to see some pen action. Yeah. Some pen action. And there's so much more, you know, there's so much yeah. lovelier. Yeah. You know, I agree. there's no like, I you whore. You're such a whore. <laughs> Millennials are also way more into porn categories such as cosplay, hentai, POV, anime, and emo. So here's some other things. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. that, cosplay, we get yeah. weird. Yeah. Here's something that happens to me. Oh. Not that I've ever looked at porn before. But I'll search and I'll be like, all right, it's time. Okay. The witching hour apparently. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Is between 11 p.m. and, and midnight. midnight. For millennials, as opposed to like mm -hmm. the older people on Pornhub, it's like, you know, because the they the eat so early. They have dinner at like 4.30 in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and the rest of the day is open. So by 6, it's like, eh, pop the pill, let's get on this. I also like that millennials, the day that's most active on Pornhub is Monday. Just another <laughs> masturbating Monday. Yeah, it's mundane. I mean, Monday, you have to like go into work, you're depressed. It was a, yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd think it was hump day. Yeah, that would, would be, be interesting, yeah. How about you? Do you look at the adult... Content? I do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I think when, for me personally, I'm I I can really go there with my imagination. I don't mm -hmm. need that much outside stimulation. My imagination, I feel like, is just as stimulating. Yeah. Uh, and I have like my go tos in my mind already. And mm -hmm. are they? Are there anything you want to share? First no. of all, thanks for just sharing that. That's all I'm gonna share. Because I think people. Uh, do you think that by and large, mm -hmm. like it it is assumed that everybody looks at porn? I would think so. Okay, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, and do I you think it's think natural? I think that you just you you can't you can't go overboard with it. Mm -hmm. You don't you know everything in moderation. You don't want to like be watching it so much that there's so much stimulation that when you're really having sex with someone, you don't reach that craziness because sometimes there's a lot of crazy porn out there. Yes, there is. And I can is. see that you would almost it's it's you almost are addicted to that one way of getting off that it could hinder you in the bedroom. But if you're using it just to like entice your relationship and to get a to get a nice base going. Yeah. You know, to like get you in the mood. Yes. Yes. Um here's what happens to me is like you'll be clicking around. Sometimes I don't even notice I'm doing it. That's a problem. I It'll just like I'll, and sometimes when you porn is like the first result instead of YouTube, <laughs> that's when I knew I had a, a problem. problem. Like five years ago, yeah, when I was single, of course, there was a lot of porn. Okay, and that was bad. Yeah, uh, but here's what happens: is I you'll be clicking around, and then something real weird will happen. Ooh, it'll be like, oh my god, yeah, what is that? And then it stops being sexual to me. Then I'm just like, what the hell? And then you just kind of are on a research mission to be like, what's the weirdest thing I can find? And But you're not doing it to... It's no longer the original wow. intent. Like, I'll find myself for like 
for like an hour just being like, oh my God, that's a chick. Okay, you guys, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a millennial, please, what's your most used search term? Yeah. Yeah, we wanna know, who cares? We'll see you guys next time on Pop Trigger.